make sure thy friend. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowl. Go to the go to the ant. Thou strugglest, consider the, her ways, Amen. and be wise, which have no guide, no guide, overseer, or ruler. Provided her meat through the summer, and gather her food in the harvest. How long will thou sleep, O struggling, when thou shalt arise out of thy sleep? Amen. Lord, give a blessing to reader, hear, and doer of the word. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, give us a prayer this morning. Amen. 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 God, we just come to you right now knowing that you've already done exceedingly abundantly above all right. we can even ask or think, oh God. Thank you. Because so you woke us up this morning. All right. Stop this morning away, oh God. We just okay. thank you for your many blessings throughout the course of this morning. Amen. It's a Sunday today. Come into your house for no other reason, God, but to magnify so and worship and glorify your name, oh God. God, we just thank you once again for providing provision this week. We thank you for taking us to and from work safely and bringing us back home, oh God. And God, we just thank you, God, for what's about to happen in your house today, God. We thank you, God, that as the word of life is broken in this house today, Lord God, we just ask that you bless Pastor White, Lord Amen. God, Amen. that he continues right. to preach an uncompromising word. God bless his wife and his children. Amen. Amen. Oh God. Continue, continue to keep on safe. Continue right. to provide, oh God. I thank you for the Malama family that's here today, God. Amen. And Lord God, and those that will come today, Lord God, Amen. as they hear the word of life, that they may say, what must I do to be saved, oh God? Lord God, let the black slider come back this day, Lord God. Let him come joyfully back, Lord God. And Dedicate his life to you this day, Lord right. God. And I just ask that you bless everybody under the sound of my voice, Amen. God. We can speak health, life, and strength in right. the power of only Jesus, Jesus. that he brings, Lord right. God. We thank you right now, Lord Jesus, Amen. that, Lord God, that you will continue to watch over, Lord Amen. God, those that may be suffering from addiction this day, God. We just ask that you touch him, God. Lord God, we ask that you touch the homeless today, God. Provide the needs, oh God. Lord God, touch the children today, Lord God. Those that don't have parents, God. Those are, that are, are in need of just love from you, Lord God, this day, God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're going to do in this world, God. Lord God, we just even ask that you touch from the, those that are in high offices, God. We know, Lord God, that you can lead God and direct them, God. The president, the head of state, the Congress, oh God. The mayors, the governors, oh God. God, we just ask that you intervene right now, God. Give them the words to say that we yeah. might have peace yet another day. Oh so, God, we thank you, God. Have your way in this service yeah. today, God. Help us to have joy unspeakable. And we ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
house, for you have a powerful flashlight. When you point downward, you see clearly what is in front of you. And when you point it forward, it allows you to see your past. Right. What are you saying, Will Gibson? I'm saying the Bible is like a flashlight. God's word is a light unto our path. It helps us to deal with day-to-day -day circumstances. Uh, what you need to do is, is not only you get in the word, but let the word get in you. Uh, 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 let me go to say this. There are about a million words in the world. 170,000 words in current use today. 20 to 30,000 words used by individual persons. You have long words, short words, double words, single words, plural words, adjective words, loving words, hateful words, fighting words, kind words, rude words, cool words, sassy words. I can go on and on and on, but there is no word like God's word. Amen. It, it, it used to be a man's word was his bond. But then it went from man's word to contract on paper. And then to the courtroom. Because man was not only living up to his word, but he wasn't even living up to his signature. But put it on his contract. Now I've said that. I've said all of that to say this. Okay. Stick with God's word. Yeah. In, in, in the Bible, the King James uh, Bible has 783,137 words. God's word. And I believe in God's word. Yeah. I, I won't take anything from it. I won't add anything to it. That's right. Revelations 22, 18, and 19 says, For I testify unto every man yeah. that heard the words of the prophecy of this book. Yeah. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. That's right. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book yeah. of this prophecy, yeah. God shall take away his part out of the book out of life and out of the holy city yeah. and from the things which are written in this book. Right. Stick with God's word. Right. We got to stay with God's word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you can't believe everything that you hear. No. You got to stay with God's word. Amen. You got to learn God's word. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 as we get older, we learn things. We can't always stay a child. We can't always stay a kid. No. Some things are fun when you're little, but when you get older, things change. Yeah. Uh, uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Yeah, yeah. For all things have passed away. But those silly things that I used to do, that I don't do no more. Because all things have passed away, but all things have become new. Yeah. Paul said, when I was a child, I spake as a child. Yeah. I understood yeah. as a child. Yeah. I thought yeah. as a child. Yeah. I became a man and put away child. those childish things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't play yo-yo no more, no. Diana. No. Uh, no. Harry, I don't play Tilly Winch. I, Jacks, I used to be king at Jacks. I, I don't do the high eye bet no more. I don't do the hula hoop no more because I put all those childish things behind me and I grown up, Barbara. I, I, I've got a new way of thinking, a new way of walking, and a new way of talking. And it's because
Check that phone up to 63 times daily. Americans spend an average of 5.4 hours on their phone daily. There will be over 311.53 million people using phones in America by the time 2025 gets there. 13% of millennials spend over 12 hours on their phones. 86% of Americans go online daily. All households own a cell phone. 91% of college students own phones. 46% 46, 46 of the age of 65 or older own a phone. 7.7 .7 billion are subscribers. I've said all that to say this. What if we took all of that time? No. Because it's the only 
thing that's going to set you free. It's the only thing that's going to clean you up. It's better than oxalot. It's better than tide. It's better than chloride. Well, what I like about God's word, it cuts you like a two-edged sword. It's going to get you one way, and you might duck, but guess what? It's going to come back and get you another way. What I like about God's word, you can't run from it. You can't hide from it. You can't duck from it because God's word is all around us. What I like about God's word is Congress can't veto it out. What I like about God's word, the arsonists can't burn it out. Oh, what I like about it is the greatest surgeons can't operate it out. NASA can't fly it out. Muhammad Ali couldn't knock it out. Jurors can't convict it out. All citizens it out. The Einsteins can't figure it out because they'll get a mind blown of their own self if they try to. Firefighters can't escape it out. But what I want to tell you is stick with God's word. Because God's word is the only thing that's going to set you free. Suck it, not out of them.
Dear Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you for allowing us to be able to read your word. Now allow us to take your word and apply it to our daily living. Now, by the grace of our Lord, the communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide this Lord now and forevermore until we meet each other again this evening at 5 o'clock. In Jesus' name we pray.